increase harvests and protect wild fish populations. Tilapia, bass, and catfish are three popular crops raised by fish farmers around the world. In Asia, tilapia are often raised in lunch packs where the fish waste provides nutrients for the lungs. This integrated growing system improves yields and reduces pollution. The American alligator on your right were once an endangered species. Raising alligators on farms has played an important role in decreasing pressure on wild populations. Nearly 30% of all fish consumed worldwide is raised on farms, making agriculture an important part of our efforts to reduce a valuable harvest. Here at the land, we grow about 6,500 pounds of fish each year, many of which are featured in restaurants here at Epcot. This greenhouse is full of some of our biggest ideas. Giant pumpkins and winter melons are certainly impressive, but their real importance far exceeds their record-setting size. These supersized crops represent the best efforts of scientists and farmers to improve plant yields. Years of careful selection and crossbreeding results in plants that produce more food, are more resistant to pests, and can even grow in marginal climates. And it doesn't hurt that one nine-pound lemon will make about a gallon of lemonade on a hot summer day. These plants are definitely on their way up. Vertical growing systems like ours increases airflow through the leaves, which helps to reduce disease. Diseases and pests are two of the biggest challenges faced by farmers around the world. Innovative growing techniques are just one way to fight these problems. Using beneficial insects to manage pest problems is another technique we use. We're also growing plants using our novel nutrient film system. By recycling water and nutrients, the system can save farmers money and help protect the environment. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 tomatoes. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served in the restaurants here at the land. trying out aeroponics. Water and nutrients are sprayed directly on the roots of the plant as they fly by. In our lab, scientists from the U.S. Department of Agriculture are working to develop dwarf pear trees. The fruit will be normal size, but the smaller trees will be easier to grow and harvest. The goal of all these experiments is to discover new ways to better grow crops in even the harshest environments. Who knows? One day, we might even be able to grow food during extended space flights.
Of course, growing better crops is just the first part of the story. Once harvested, these crops need to be handled with care on their journey from the field to your table. Around the globe, scientists from Nestle are dedicated to improving the quality and taste of the foods that the world enjoys and relies on. Working together, we can continue to find innovative ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land.